go again. Hello, everybody. Hello, my fellow rogues. What we're doing today is Bowie and Tomahawk. Okay, great, great, great combination. All right, they can do a tape for an endless time on, the, on these two the way they pair together. But since I gotta come keep the video too uh, short. We'll have to stick with just one technique, all right? So one, but it's kind of a expansive and you can expand on it, all right? But you gotta start, you gotta have a bowie, you gotta have a tomahawk. You can do it with both hands, okay? You're gonna start, you start from here and practice the, the spin, if you don't know the spin. If you don't have the, the spin from forward to reverse yet with one hand, then so here, when you do a set, and work that until you have it really smooth. Instead of just starting in this position, being real good, but never practicing in the beginning the transition, which is what you probably would have to do, unless you had it in uh, reverse sheath. So there's means for like all these little uh, parts of the drill. Okay, so I'm gonna keep it in here a little bit so the whole idea right you're you're gonna be picking and chopping you're gonna pick you're gonna chop you're gonna be offensive and you're gonna be defensive all right two-step moves okay, so we're gonna like I said if you don't have it down start here do that and then you can begin to do it all right, so the first thing is just, you know, moving, getting comfortable moving. A little, just, just sit here, like, kind of rotating, like you're rolling a wheel or something, you know, with both hands, like a circular motion. So just, just getting loose with them, you know. And then, you know, when you get that down, start learning to move forward with them, move backwards, keep them in motion, little motion. Not nothing huge, but it's not a strict sword or nothing. So, and you're practicing, so you, you can, you know, progress, progress, go any angle. And that's, you know, working, timing your, your footwork in with it. All right, the idea is you're using this as your, your, your hand, you're reaching your, your, your claw or whatever you want to call it. You know, you, you stick it in, you pull it, chop it, or you catch it catch it, pull it in, chop it. And then you take that one too. Now, that this would be an offensive uh, technique, all right? Because your first move is we're going at the target. We're reaching out to get him or it or whatever the fuck the target. We're not defense and then countering. Offense, offense, you know, and you practice them separately. So you get this this kind of thing down good where you feel like you got it, you can do it for a while. And then you're gonna practice sticking out, like you're, you're jabbing them in your hand or arm and pulling them in and delivering a like low to mid quadrant shot here. Okay, so it's you're here, you reach out, pick, chop, low. Uh, waist to knee area uh, on that one again now real quick I just think it's common sense you know uh, don't use real weapons these are real don't use real weapons if you're not sure you have been doing it long enough and you know that if you are or not so uh, but I just feel to mention that but anything is nothing wrong with you know training with uh, any kind of trainer until you get good you don't want to cut yourself off other people because these things will bite you in the smallest little hit all right so it's also and it's also a hit you know give them so, distract them somewhere boom bam go low medium low so that's your first one is reaching out forward straight forward go from that circle pick stab whatever claw it in and then chop that would be one Okay, and then that, but in that one, you're going to also add B, B and C, which is a higher line. So you're going to one, chop, 
higher. And then third to the head. And that would be that side. So it would be like I'm here in wrist grip, reach that claw, pull in, chop, low. That's A. B is a little higher. C, be a headshot. All right, I'm gonna get, I'll get into the tomahawk in a, in a minute. Um, about the differences and, and stuff, how to use it more effectively. Okay, so after you, some time just eats up in this shit. After you've done your left side, you're, you're reaching out forward, chopping, middle, high, and practice coming down this way, boom, and, and coming, well, over the, over the head, high, if your arms will allow you, if you have that much flexibility. Um, you keep training this stuff, you will, all right? And well, don't forget in the footwork, all right? And just working a plus sign at first, and then do angles, okay? Then we're gonna switch hands now, and do the same drill, same thing, just different weapons here, okay? First, I can get the feel for it. They both have different weights, they're very different, but so effective. Oh my god. Now, before I start this, I'll get my teeth tomorrow. Ugh. Can't wait. Um, of these two edge parts to use, this is nowhere near as dangerous as this. This kills, the point kills, this bashes really. Uh, by the time I'm going to show a demo, demo on cardboard. All right, so the, the point always kills this thing. The tomahawk this way. This is for killing this way, not so much. Okay. And again, you can you can vary it which one you like to practice more, um, and you can do that same uh, spin with the left. You know there if you don't have it yet. So you got it. So you're starting in that same, this kind of motion. All right. Now I'm just going to do the very same thing. Simple. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, this time I'm using tomahawk as the, the pickaxe. Perfect. Wham. Pull in. Thrust. Wham. Pull it in. Thrust. Wham. Pull it in. Thrust. Okay. And this is where learning through all those angles uh, of attack with the, the knife and the bowie um, is a huge help. Okay. And then this way, so you feel a, a different weight of this. A little different. Just reach out, hook, pull in, thrust, and then you're going to do mid, high. Okay. Here, reach out, hit, pull. Boom, boom, boom. Now you can do it. Where's my son? You can do it in a um, uh, rap rear more succession. And like right here, reach out, pull. Right, and then give you a second view from the sideway view. Here. Hit, destroying everything you're getting with this. You're destroying, you're clearing it. Hooking, pulling it in, thrusting this time. And here, here, and high line. Thrust, no slash, thrust. Now let me show you. All right, let me show you why. Look real quick. Exactly about the, uh, the thrust. Super Bowl is out today. Beware. Now this quick 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 demonstration. Right. You see, this is obvious not the point, right? I'm just gonna I'm gonna give it one hit with the same amount of just barely let my arm drop. I'm not gonna hard work. Okay. Good, it's better. Now watch this. No. 
though, and that's for like no effort at all. This will do it every fucking time. It'll punch a hole right through that. Every time. But even better, now it's time for this part of the, uh, the other jugs. Before I do that, let me finish my, my, my video here. So, just very, that's, that's it. It's very simple. It can be complex, but work with it, get it down. Get it down in both hands. And then work on it, make it your own. After that, okay, sorry. So some, some people might have to do this for a while just to get, to get stronger there, but do it. You gotta do it. Time should go by anyway. Okay, so it's just, it's, and this is offensive, this is not defensive, this is, you're initiating in your mind with this one, you're reaching out, you're striking first, throwing first blood, okay, so it's defensive, but we don't have time for it, I don't have time for the defense in this video, one, but I'll show it, but now's my favorite part, let me show it. The one Bowie technique, the single Bowie I said uh, earlier uh, in the intro, I think I did. Uh, and that is something that is largely over, nowhere near enough people do it. <laughs> Sorry, about this, all right, and this is huge, so much on this is adding, adding other uh, functional, you know, practical combative strikes to, in conjunction with your weapon. Like, let me show you an example of what I'm talking about. So I'd be like, so something for here, say I'm in reverse grip. I come up with a, a slash upward, one, and then the elbow to the face. So, right. one, two, one, two. Okay, it's, it's just teaching you to, that you have that weapon there. Uh, if you're caught in a moment, uh, you could have a nice shot there. Uh, Whoever thinks of it first, whoever has it in their muscle memory and mind, has to do it first. So, add add your body strikes to all of them, to slashes, to thrusts. You know, you you thrust at a front kick. You know, thrust front kick. Anything, anything. You're, just, you're adding the two. You know, you're not just doing the weapon. You're not just doing empty hand. Both. Okay, so that's all it is. It's adding different strikes from anywhere. Where, where I do, I did a, a mid thrust here. What comes? I could either I got it this elbow there close enough, or I would lead lead like sidekick, or a good one caught shoulder bump. Boom. All right. Now let's see what my time. Okay. Real quick. The edge, I like to keep pretty sharp. We got them. Simple, really. Now with the... Okay. Put it into play with your... With your actual moves, you know? Yeah. fun but the amount of mess it makes for me after the video is not as much all right i better stop it there because i don't want it to be too long they might not put it up 
All right. Uh, thank you, everyone, uh, for watching. I appreciate your subscriptions, but I will not ask for them. But, you know, it's like tipping. All right. Practice smart, safe, but make sure you fucking practice. <laughs>